Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is going to be over my issue with the new movement. As many of you guys know, we have recently had a movement essentially spearheaded by Baba over changes that need to come to the game and how we're going to do it. I've watched a couple different videos on it and personally, I've stayed kind of quiet about the situation. I've been asked quite a lot about it and overall, I, I think there's some issues with the movement as a whole that we kind of need to look into. I'm going to skip, you know, my, my whole intro here because you know, I feel like this is kind of a more analytical video. So we're just going to cover that. So the first thing I wanted to like immediately get into is like, is this really for free to play players? Like if you look at the stuff that Baba brings up, you know, when he, when he talks about, you know, more resources to farm, reduced healing costs and, and stuff like this, you have to remember that F2P doesn't want things to be free. I, I feel like Shinshi actually said this really well when he brought up the whole lazy free to play. And I know it sounds like kind of elitist, but like the best things for a free to play player is not for things to come in for free, right? Cause that doesn't benefit a free to play. The free to play wants activity to be rewarded so that they can put their time against people's money. So if I can chain barbs and get better drops from the barbs, it'd be significantly better than they gave everybody a certain amount of gems per day, right? If there are higher gem drops and barbs, giving me higher gem drops and barbs would mean that my activity is higher rewarded than if everybody got the same amount per day, right? So to, to actually benefit free to play, mostly just activity in general, we want things to be given to us at an increased rate. We want the events to be better. We want the barbs to be better. Things that we work for need to be better, not things just given for free. For example, we would want more materials from Soroli Crisis, from Soroli Assault, from Golden Kingdom, from Ian's Ballad, stuff like that. If we got more materials from that, that would be more beneficial than, for example, something uh, listed such as reduced material costs or increased crit chance, right? Those are things that are just given to people. Um, they're not grinded out. So if we had more reward for activity, that would overall be healthier. But I think that a lot of the mob doesn't understand that to, to fix the problem of a lack of activity, we have to reward activity, not rewarding people for existing. You know, that's, that's directly against what the actual min mission statement of Baba was, which was to make free to play feel like their time matters more in the game. I mean, as you guys know, like I've even cooled off to the game, you know, I haven't been playing anywhere near as much as I have, you know, since Heroic Anthem, because it just, you know, hasn't interested me as much. And something else here is at the end of it, you know, he talked about reducing the cost of bundles. And I've heard a couple other people talk about reducing the cost of bundles also. And like, I feel like Shinji's video is actually really good on the topic because Shinji has, has missed some videos before. Okay. Well, you know, my boy, I love him to pieces, but sometimes he got some bad takes, but this take was really good. And his video got like mass downvoted and like the, the whole lazy free to play and the whole making bundles worse points were, were just super valid because I mean, there, there's a lot of people that just don't actually play the game that much. You know, they're, they're like 10 mil shitters that, that, or people that have played for like 800 days that fall into T5. And like, I'm not saying those, those people are invalid, but I'm saying that their, their points of view, well, the things that they want, um, don't necessarily actually make the game more sustainable or keep the game alive for longer. Right, the Baba's mission statement doesn't fall in line with some of the points he puts down, and if he listens to the community completely, right, there there's a, a very intelligent part of the community, and there is a lot of the community that are like absolute mouth breathers. I think Reddit is actually a really good example of this. I, I've made a couple of videos on on different Reddit points before, but like they've absolutely drooled on themselves in some situations, and you know unless you have a rational discussion with them why it's wrong, you you you're going to end up with a bunch of bad points. Like you, you can't just accept all the community's grievances, throw it in a, in, in a washing machine and, and pull out the finished product, right? At the end of the day, you, you have to discuss what is important, what's not important, what is our mission with uh, these points and what are we looking to achieve? Just like with, with Crystal Tech, like, it is, like fixing Crystal Tech is probably a lot more difficult than just removing it, right? Heroic Anthem would be a pretty good map without Crystal Tech. Like it, it's overall pretty bad, but like, as a whole, like as a game, as a pay to win game, which is what we're playing, what we all came here to play. If we didn't want to play a pay to win game, we'd play League of Legends or, or another game like that, that is not pay to win. I mean, you, you guys signed up for a pay to win game. I almost don't know what you expected. So like your know, heroic anthem is on some level expected, 
but to have uh, you know crystals in it and reducing the crystal tech, I mean, those are things that we want. Overall, would it be better if it was removed? Maybe, but at the end of the day, we do need compromise. We can't just burn Lilith down. My second point here is over the actual platform on which it's being released. Um, so what I was gonna say next is we need kind of like a consolidated effort. So currently there is a Discord, uh, I'm sure many of you guys have joined, where they're giving out suggestions and you know, uh, essentially bad suggestions can just go through because like there's just a massive mob right now that are just going to say some really stupid stuff and just let it go through. I'm not saying that all the ideas are bad. Vast majority of them are good, really, because the average player knows what the average player wants generally, right? But I, I, I draw back to the to one of my videos where I talk to people about not investing their universal sculptures into Charles Martel as a free-to-play player. Because people were essentially advocating for trying to expertise Charles Martel before they had done any other commander, right? And they were bashing content creators for telling people to not do that. And so I made a video with a bunch of different points where I just went through why that was wrong. And I mean, obviously it was received pretty well, but like there were a lot of people before that that didn't agree with me that I discussed it with that ended up agreeing with me. And we need to have more conversation within the community to kind of weed out a lot of these points that aren't great. So we need a small amount of points that are basically universal agreed on. For example, everybody wanted Marauders buffed. Do you guys wonder why that happened so quickly, right? Every single person was like, wow, the change they made to Marauders, this was absolutely abhorrent. We definitely need to change this absolutely immediately. So it was changed pretty much immediately. Now, not every single person was against the healing update. A lot of people were against the healing update, but not everybody. And because it was more Ooga Booga healing update bad, and you know people's points were, were realistically flimsy. They did change the healing update, right? But it was a compromise at the end of the day because we really didn't have all the support of the people. You know, there was some merit to to the healing update, regardless of why Lilith did it. You know, if Lilith did it just to change the meta because they wanted more money, it doesn't matter why they did it necessarily. It matters what the impacts of it were and if the impacts were good or bad and if everybody can agree that the impact was bad to end up changing it. I overall, as I've stated many times, I actually thought the healing update was pretty good. I thought that in terms of having people only be able to use bots to permanently clear hospitals, because a lot of the big players, you know, if you're seeing like large players that don't farm that are fighting for like 20 plus hours a day, uh, chances are they're buying resources. They're still buying resources, but they also have to pay in terms of healing speed ups. And that's all I really want at the end of the day. Because realistically, if you could swipe your visa unlimited times, the healing update wouldn't matter, right? You could just gem all your resources, it doesn't matter, right? But I want to see them bleed for the fighting. You know, it's not, it, like, it's absolutely nuts just to see people buy resources at like 20 bucks per 100 mil and just buy billions of resources and just go, all right, YOLO, let's let's fight. I'm, I'm just going to... You know, I mean, I'm just going to heal everything. So, I mean, that was kind of frustrating for me. So the healing update was overall, like, pretty good. It was it was kind of like an equalizer because, you know, if I chain enough barbs, especially with the barb change where I can get healing speed ups from chaining barbs, it was just overall, like, it rewarded my activity a lot. And that's something that I actually really enjoyed. So, again, there were merits to revoking the healing update and there were merits to keeping the healing update, regardless of how Lila saw the healing update, because not everybody was on the same page about it, it wasn't going to get reverted. Unlike when they nerfed Marauders and every single person, regardless of, of their, their, their thought process or space, wanted Marauders buffed, right? Marauders obviously had to be buffed, so everybody got on the same page, so they did it. Another thing is we need to give Lilith time, okay? When I was on Lilith's ass for their community management, I was looking for a simple message from Cheesecake. At the end of the day, the Discord ended up getting reformed and everything went really well. They ended up changing everything that I asked for and everybody else supported me asked for. And it's because we pressured them very hard on things that we were unequivocally right about, right? There'd be no excuse for, for a community manager to not manage the community, right? They're paid to do that. They have to be professional and they have to do their job. So at the end of the day, you know, we got a couple of messages and there was no Lilith Sucks Part 3. I was happy. You know, they fixed the Discord. They started revising Heroic Anthem. So I wasn't just going to shit in their mouth, <laughs> for lack of a better term, uh, after that. So that's something that we need to, to realize is that 
you know, we're, we're giving them ultimatums for how we're going to behave depending on, on what the responses are. And we're asking for like massive sweeping changes. And we're not asking for like a few of them, right? This isn't a consolidated effort. We're asking for a ton of changes, some of some of which are huge, some of which are bad for the game, some of which are bad for the community. Like, not everything that we're asking for is good, but there is a massive mob basically just screaming. And, like, we have to we have to have a, a dedicated platform. And not like a platform is in, like, a YouTube platform or a Discord path, platform. Like a political platform. You know, something that, that you know, like the, the Baba Party. And the Baba Party wants X, Y, and Z. So everybody that subscribes to that party wants X, Y, and Z. That's very important for us to have so Lilith knows exactly what we want and we know what we're doing when we ask for these things, you know? We have to think about these second and third order consequences. And like finally, like we need to ask for solutions. Um, we're not asking for solutions a lot of the time. For example, like when people were, were complaining about Crystal Tech, Crystal Tech sucks is not a solution. You, you can't just say that. I said that, right? But I also gave a solution. So you, you can't just say this is bad. You can't just complain about it. You have to give constructive criticism, right? Even if it's harsh criticism, as long as there's a solution behind it, it would make sense. So crystal text sucks is not a solution, but crystals in barbs is a solution, right? So in, in my rant video, I said, you know, the, the solution is obvious. All you have to do is put crystals in barbs. You know, that's that's what they did because I we, we pressured them a lot. And then on top of that, we took all of our force and we gave them a consolidated solution that they could do that would fix or at least work on fixing the problem towards the future. And the last thing I want to put in this video, my third point here, is going to be uh, the Baba drama. Uh, I I witnessed this probably like this morning and I, I felt like it had to be stated, uh, you know, just in case like it got any bigger. It was Death Squad and Phantom that were getting mad at Baba because he said in his posts that, you know, the, the free-to-play were leaving and the game was getting less active and, you know, he was going to have no enemies to fight against. And it was very obvious that he is talking about the overall health of the game and how the activity of the game is declining. And I guess Death Squad and Phantom, like, took it as, like, personal attacks. Like, how dare you say this? Like, we're enemies and we're still playing the game. You know, why don't you fight us? And, you know, there's, there's like, just slinging mud at each other. And, like, this is, like, irrelevant, guys. Trash talk is fine, and if they want to sling mud at each other, it's fine. But, like, we have to stick together for at least the time period that it takes to get changes that will make the game better into effect. You know, once, once that comes in, you know, if you want to go and, like, sling mud at each other, like, more power to you. But, like, the game is teetering, okay? The, the game, because I don't even think the game was dying before this. But the game could either go really good from this or really bad, right? Because, like, the, the game is... The game kind of stopped being on fire for a little bit. And then uh, a couple videos came out, and then Baba started posting, and the game is on fire again. Which is okay if we move the game forward. We just have to realize that, as a community, we have to get our points to make the game better. Baba is obviously talking about activity loss, and we need to talk about relevant points, or all of what we're doing is useless, and we're only serving to harm the game. You know, stopping to spend money and giving everybody one stars as a community uh, in terms of like the, the Google Play Store and, and the Apple iOS store, we are literally, if we are not using all of this clout and momentum to make the game better, we are actually just destroying the game. So like, just just know what we're trying to do. Um, you know, my, my final concluding statement here is, you know, we, we have to realize uh, the second and third order consequences of our our actions and what we're asking for we have to realize like what we are what we are looking to accomplish if we're looking to fix things for free to play like we need to have large free to play players that understand the community and are very active to spearhead it right so if, if baba would have a direct line of connection baba probably shouldn't be talking for the free to play players the free to play players should probably tell baba a list of things that would fix the game for them, and then Baba should pass that on, right? Baba has no idea what it's like to be a free-to-play player. Like, no disrespect against the guy. Like, it's 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 Baba. Like, let's let's be completely and totally honest here. And I understand that's where the suggestions chat is going, but uh, so many different messages are going out that there is no consolidated movement. So realize that it's for free-to-play. We have to give out 
a consolidated message and we have to remember to keep the consolidated message on while giving constructive criticism. We cannot just scream into the void because the void might scream back, you know? Let's try to fix the game rather than try to destroy the game. That's going to be all for this video. If you guys enjoy the content, you know, be sure to drop a sub, hit that notification bell. If you guys are interested in becoming a member on the channel, it's two bucks a month and you guys get to choose a video that I make once per month and you guys get also a nice little chat in the Discord. Um, if you guys want to join the Discord where I post every single time I go live, when I have new videos, and you guys want to talk to me personally, that is the best place to find me in the description below. Um, if you guys are currently watching this video, I will be live on YouTube as this comes out. So if you guys have any burning questions, you guys watch this and you guys are foaming at the mouth, um, I will be live and you guys can ask me anything you want. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day and uh, hey, let's make this community good. Deuces, guys.